Okay, now is the same day I was doing the RC Electronics video. But today, we're going to be building a power pod. Power pods are for airplanes. Airplanes work on power pods. So, to build your power pod, you're going to need your foam, which is outside right now. But the point is, I have come up with an idea. So my idea is that we could build one of these, but the thing is, they have these fancy firewalls in the FT kits. They're really nice firewalls that I like, and they just look good in the right wood. So I found the right wood, which is what you're sitting on. I can't, yeah, okay. So I cut out a piece of it, and now I got this. So what I did, is I, I, freak, I don't know the uh, sizes, but what I did is I took this piece of wood, and... I drilled two big holes here that fits for a barbecue skewer. There you go, barbecue skewer. Fits both sizes, small and big. And this goes into the wing of the aircraft, so when you slide the power pod in, it slides in like with the power pod. Here comes the airplane, it goes This slides in. There you go. And it all kind of locks together. So what I did is I drilled these two big holes for those, so it would hook into the wing. And then after that, I drilled these four little holes by taking my motor. I took my little Emax motor and I set it on this piece of wood like that. And then I lined up each little hole, each little hole along here. And I put a little mark with a marker across each one so that I would know where to drill. So I drilled those four little holes. Turns out you can use servo. Um, what they called. You can use servo screws and I just so happen to have a lot of them. I have just bags and bags from old servos because I just don't use these. I just don't use any of these because they're just old and I don't use them. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick a little bag and I put all these back Okay, now they're all put back, so what I'm going to do here is, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take these little two screws that's just left over. Usually you just use the little control horn and then one little screw, because that's what I did. So, so we have these two little screws, and apparently you can screw down your motor with these. So, I'm going to need four for my motor, so I'll grab one more bag. Okay, so I have one more little bag. Screw in there. Oh, I guess we have to go grab one more bag. There we go. One last little screw. So, four little screws I have here. And I'm going to mount these to my, with this little block of wood that I made, to my power pack, which is right here. And I'm going to use these electronics. for my power pod to make it look like this. This is just for like the nutball, for the um, FT Flyer and the Delta. I'm going to be using this power pack for these three, but or just any smaller plane. So I have small plane, bigger plane, and so on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first test this, see if these fit in the right places. Yep, they are in the right places. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my little tiny turner. Got my tiny turner, just realized it doesn't fit. So we'll get rid of that and grab my other screwdrivers. There we got all my other screwdrivers to use. Grab the good size one, put the motor down. So I also put this little slot in the corner by just drilling a hole here. So then the wires can make their ways around the corner. So I'll go ahead and screw these on. So I went ahead and grabbed one of these screwdrivers because I realized I can't actually get it in the corner with any screwdriver. I have to take the top of the motor off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, there's a little screw right here, or Allen key thing. I don't know what that's called, but it's a tiny little black thing. Oh, the top should slip off. Never mind, there's a second one. You 
can see right there, that tiny black dot is what I'm taking out. There we go. Second one, the top should come right off. There you go, and now the motors come off. So now I can actually screw this on. So, got the right screwdriver. Screw all four of these screws on. Okay, I finally got it in. It took me a little while because one of the screws is a little bent up, as you can see there. But I just couldn't quite get it in because I drilled the holes wrong. But now I got it in. It's all good. So, we have the base of the motor on to the wood. And so what we're going to do is grab our motor again and position it in the way it was positioned earlier. Slip it in. And put the little tiny screw things in. I'll give you a close up. Ah, focus! There we go. Just wasn't quite getting it, but those tiny little things screw in the bottom of the motor so they're nice and tight. Okay, put all my screwdrivers back, close it up. So now, it took me a long time, it's going to be short for you guys. Now I have my motor on securely, fastened onto wood, which is the first time because usually I glue my motors on. So, first time in forever. Just, okay. So, we're going to glue this onto the front here in a minute. And note the bottom will have this little chip in it. So, we're going to go ahead. Grab a hot glue gun. I should have told you to plug it in earlier, but now this is an A-fold, so we're just kind of going to get the glue on the bottom. Start a half inch, I'd say, from each end. Go like that. We're going to fold this up and hold it up. Now, if you don't think it's straight, you can grab a piece of tape or like a tape roll. That works really well for just holding it straight up and down. So I'm gonna, a good four to five seconds to dry. Okay, so now it's all dry, and we're gonna do the next one. Start and stop right at the end. Use the table as your friend. Hold up, hold it for 45 seconds. Okay, now this power pot is all dry, and it's ready to be assembled. So now we have this nice little top piece. We can put this on to make sure it fits nicely, which this does. And the top does hang off a little. So I put it all the way up. The top hangs off a little. We're going to need that. And just in case it doesn't fit, you just squish the edge right here so your wires will fit. And to connect this to this, we're just going to put a good bead of glue around here. Good, healthy bead. Slap it on there. Oh. Okay, this is pretty good now. So we have our power pack ready to go. All we have to do is now just put the ESC and stuff in. And we're going to tape it now. So make sure your hot glue gun is unplugged. Ah, my hot glue gun is unplugged. And now we're going to tape it up. So I have a super thick roll of tape here. There you go. Um, and we're just going to tape it up. So we're going to start with the um, sides. Sorry if I'm blocking your view. Fold it in. Good. And then, since this is super wide tape, it's already made its way across, so we don't need, or I don't need to worry about that. So if it, if you have normal tape, you can go ahead and start with the bottom, 
and then do the sides and I'm just going to flip the bottom over make sure everything's nice and just because I want the inside to look nice I'm going to pull the ESC up and do the inside just to give it an extra little bit of strength go over it like that and now we're almost done so we're going to need one more roll of tape here's that other tape this is fiberglass tape, which is uh, fiberglass reinforced tape. Really, really nice stuff. You don't need this, it's just for that thickness. So, scissors. The scissors. And we're just gonna cut a little piece of tape. Make sure you have it down every time you, there we, so we're gonna be cutting pieces about this long. So, that's one, two, three, four. Use about this much, but as long as the, not as long as the power pack. Piece after. So we're gonna tape this just over top of this to give it the extra bit of rigidity over time. One and two. There. Now we have a nice power pod that's really strong and nice and all you have to do is slip it into an airplane now so one more thing sorry um we have to poke out these little holes so that's easiest for me now poke poke last thing i'm gonna do is the inside ones yeah that's all i had to do was poke those little holes in there so it wouldn't um, so you can get your barbecue screws through. So here's my little power pod and receiver. You can't forget a receiver. So I'm gonna go ahead. This is a Flysky FSI six X. Um, this is for the FSI six X. This is the FSI A six receiver. Plug it in channel three because that's what my throttle is for this specific radio. Just gonna go ahead and tuck it in there. And we're done. So all we would have to do is put in barbecue screws here so we could elastic band a battery under, which would go right here, and then we would be done. Then we could slip this into any airplane. We just would need a propeller, which you choose that one. Thanks for watching. See so ya, yeah, this is your Spangler. Subscribe if you liked it. It's free and leave a like. Bye.